Hey guys and welcome back to Celeb Plant. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're going to talk about how Kim Kardashian exposed for threatening Ray J to keep quiet. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Kim Kardashian's ex-boyfriend Ray J has threatened to sue the Kardashian star and her mother Kris Jenner for allegedly orchestrating the infamous 2007 sex tape and portraying him as the villain. Ray J has been doubling down on his claims that Kim and Kris arranged for the sale of their X-rated tape to Vivid Entertainment in order to gain fame. Ray J did a tell-all earlier this year in which he broke his silence on the alleged truth behind his sex tape with Kim, which was shot during their time together in the early 2000s. Ray J has been suspected of being the source of the leaked tape for 15 years. Ray J, who no longer sleeps with Kim, claims the tape was never leaked, and Kim and Chris went after the company that brokered the deal and put millions in Kim and Ray J's pockets. The tape was also released in the same year that the Kardashian Jenners debuted their now famous reality show Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Ray J insists that he came up with the idea for the tape jokingly, but Kim took it seriously. Ray J claims Kim released the tape in the hopes of gaining the same boost to her career and celebrity as her friend Paris Hilton. Kim and Chris were deafeningly quiet about Ray J's shocking claims for months until Chris took a lie detector test, which allegedly proved she didn't stage the tape. The lie detector test pushed Ray J over the edge, resulting in an all night Instagram live rant in which the singer produced DMs, contracts, and proof that Kim signed the contract with Vivid on his behalf. He also claims Chris directed her daughter and Ray to make three tapes, which you watched and chose the best one. Ray J exclaimed in his lengthy caption, you f the wrong black man, Kris Jenner and Kim Kardashian. He went on to accuse Kim and Kris of inhumane and foul behind the scenes antics that he now feels are racist after blasting the polygraph examiner who conducted the lie detector test on Kris. Ray J threatened legal action against Kim and Kris. He wrote, everybody is getting sued because of defamation. The One Wish singer also chastised Kim who caught Kanye off guard with a second tape for her previous legal battles with Ray J's sister Brandy and mother, Sonia Norwood, writing, You stole all that money from my mom and sister, over 800 k and you had to pay it back because you were guilty and the judge ordered it. He also claimed that Kim never sued Steve Hirsch for $5 million because we all made that up together. Though reports confirm Kim filed a lawsuit against Vivid Entertainment in 2007, he concluded his post saying that he was doing this for my kids. Meanwhile, the Kardashians debuted in April and immediately turned the sex tape into a plot point. Kim was shaken in the first episode when Saint, her son, showed up her pop-up ad on Roblox that allegedly featured her much-memed crying face. When clicked, the ad allegedly advertised a new Kim Kardashian sex tape. Kim contacted her lawyers after seeing the advertisement, telling them, I am 99.9% .9 sure that no other tape exists. In episode 2, Kim tells Chloe, Courtney, and Chris that someone is threatening to release more footage, saying, Ray J's manager is claiming he has a sex tape of us in Santa Barbara. While on the other phone with her lawyer, sitting in a closet full of skims as she packs to head to New York for SNL, Kim proudly declares, I have all the time, all the money, and all the resources to burn this effing thing to the ground. Weeks later, he returned to Instagram with a 44-minute video post to go through his DMs with Kim, even revealing that Kim had not blocked him. In the video, he goes over the alleged Vivid Entertainment contract once again and discusses potential lawsuits against the Kardashians. He eventually called it a night saying, I got a lot more to show, but I'm going to leave that for the minute. Ray J ended with a message for the Kardashians saying that he had more documents to release. He then said, this ain't over. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.